In this video, we will review the new USB video otoscope by Medrex and how to use the new otoscope in the Medrex Studio software. On the otoscope, you have two buttons. The camera button will allow you to take a photo inside the ear canal. The other button is the on and off button. Make sure your video otoscope is plugged in and turned on. In the Studio software, you will want to click on the VO module. You will first want to configure your otoscope. Click on the Settings icon at the top of the screen. From the drop-down menu, you can select your otoscope. Then hit the Back button. Before using the otoscope, you want to make sure that you clean the lens at the end of the otoscope before you place the specula on. Always use a new or a clean specula for each patient. When placing the otoscope in the patient's ear, remember that the otoscope has a close focal point, so the image will get clearer as you get deeper into the ear canal. Also, the otoscope has an auto white balance feature, and so the colors will change as you move the otoscope in the ear canal. While using the video otoscope, you can take pictures by clicking on the camera button on the otoscope, by using a foot pedal, or by clicking on the circle at the top of the screen. While using the video otoscope, you can change the ear that you are taking the picture of by clicking the right and the left at the top of the screen, or by clicking on the R and the L on the keyboard. You can always change the photo characteristics after the photo was already taken by clicking on the settings icon on the photo. And you can change whether it's the right or the left and the type of picture it is. So if it's in the ear of the hearing aid or if it's a portrait of everything on the outside. When printing, you have options of how you would like the photos to display on the template. On each photo, you can select the print icon if you would like all of the photos to print, or just select which ones you want to show up. If you would like just individual images, the last image on each side of each type will show on the template. For example, if we select all of the photos to show on the template, when you click on the print icon and you select your template, you will see that all four images that were selected are shown. If you would like just the individual images, you can see that the last one on each side and each type will show on your template. You can save your session by clicking on the Save button at the top of the screen. If you close Studio before saving, the software will prompt you to save. To save an image as a JPEG file, click on the image and then hit Control S on your keyboard. You can name your file and save it to your desired place on the computer and it will save it as a JPEG. To record live video with your video otoscope, you can click on the Control Alt Shift and M keys at the same time on your keyboard. The recording will begin automatically and at the top of your screen you will see the red symbol along with the running clock of your recording. When you are finished recording you can either hit the spacebar, the enter key, or the camera button key on the video otoscope. It will prompt you to save the file and name it to any location you would like on your computer.